everyone talking about Seahorse by Zoologist. The notes in this are fennel, ambrette, Guatemalan cardamom, clary sage, neroli, tuberose, algae, ambergris, and vetiver. Another interesting take by a Zoologist. This somehow feels accurate, even though obviously it's not like seahorse smell is a thing that many people would know um, or yeah, have as a reference. But I also find this to be more wearable than a lot of zoologist fragrances. Kind of up there with squid as being one of the other main ones that I think is more wearable on, yeah, kind of a lot of people, even if you're not as into niche or like unique weird stuff. It's still pretty out there. Uh, the fennel note isn't something that I'd want to wear with any prominence. I'm just not really into that smell. Maybe that combined with the algae a little bit, but I do actually, I just still like it. And I think it's unique without being gross. The saltiness of it is pretty captivating. Salt and sea, you know, sea salt, sea notes are used in a lot of aquatic and aquatic adjacent type of fragrances, but something about the way it's done here just feels really vivid. And I think that this is the type of thing that's worth sampling, even if you're not that into the idea of it, just for the fun of like, oh, this is cool, this is interesting type of thing. Goes for 175 for a 60 mil. This has good longevity and moderate projection, very unisex, I would say. And as with squid, it's kind of like a unique take on an aquatic, like you don't have to be into a regular aquatic at all to be into this. This really just leans more into like the salty side, the kind of underwater plant type of thing and uh, not so much into just like driftwood and yeah, just like generic water notes or something like that. So yeah, I'll put a link in the description where you can get a bottle or a sample if you want to check it out.